No. I think, um, you know, for me, I love going into another world and have a, having an experience. And that's what cinema to me is all about. Ideas that uh, get translated into this beautiful language of film, uh, cinema, and allow people to go into another world and have an experience. It's a magical, magical medium. I'm a firm believer in the magic of cinema. Look at you. <laughs> the tools that we have are getting more and more. It's like having a wood shop. Before we had a hammer and nails and a saw and some wood. Great things were built with that. But now we've got electric drills, band saws, table saws, radial arm saws, sanders, uh, grinders, all kinds of hand tools, and it just helps you realize your ideas. And a lot of times it saves some big physical labor. So, uh, they're just tools. And I always say, always and forever, there were uh, pieces of paper and a pencil. And people could write words and make stories. But when you think about it, um, how many truly great stories were written? So, just because you have tools doesn't mean automatically you're going to make something, you know, really great. But it helps, if you've got something really great, it helps you make it. I practice Transcendental Meditation, and that has really served my work, energy, uh, and happiness in the doing, I can't tell you. And I always, even before I started meditating, had a drive to make things. So it just gets better and better. Um, the thing about meditating is everybody's got obstacles, but um, they seem to be easier to go through when we're happier, when we're not tired, but we have energy, we have wakefulness, when we have um, a lot of kind of love, universal love growing, we, 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 we seem to like people more and get along better and um, when we can tap into that reservoir of creativity. So it's money in the bank to dive within, experiencing at that deepest level of life, infusing that, growing in that, and you know, then uh, going about your business, but really enjoying the doing. So many people work for a goal, but on the way, they don't really enjoy it. They're, they're thinking about the money or the fame or getting something as a result of the work. And that time of work is our life going by. So it would be very good to enjoy the doing. And then if you have a failure, it's not so bad if you could say, well, at least I enjoyed the work. If you have a success, just a, you know, a, a, a double, you know, a double good thing. I went digital. Um, everybody, and, and this is a festival for the DPs. 
the DPs, I'm sure, most every one of them loves celluloid emulsion baths. You know, the, it's, it's an organic phenomenon. It's beautiful. And yet, it's heavy, it's slow. You don't see what you're gonna get till the next day at dailies. There's scratches, there's dirt. Every day the bath is a little different. And in, in some ways, um, it's, uh, it's very special, but digital has just screaming forward, getting better and better. And they're accompanying it, so many tools to manipulate the image in any way you want. So there is, it's clean. You see what you want right away. And you can change it because you see it. You can change it later. It, things are lighter weight. Um, there's no scratches, there's no dirt. Once you get it dialed in, Theoretically, every, every screening will be the same. And you can control it more and therefore get all the elements, you know, more easily to feel correct so that people can go into that other world and have that experience. And there won't be anything that'll throw them out. In a theater, even a cough at the wrong time can throw you out. Um, and if there's some dirt or a scratch, it can, it can destroy the mood and, and the, and the th tender thing, and you're out. So it's a very delicate thing, and digital, I think, is um, our friend uh, for ensuring that people can have that experience, but it still should be on a giant screen, giant sound, dark theater, cell phones off, quiet, but some very good popcorn or candy if you want. It's the 20th year, and when I first met the camera image gang, Merrick and Kajik, um, I saw the reason why this festival keeps going and gets bigger and better every year. I saw great energy, enthusiasm, doing it the right way, uh, celebrating cinema from the uh, point of view of the directors of photography. And uh, I think kind of sometimes against all odds, they get the festival put on each year. So, and, and um, they become my great friends.